Direct deposit and ePay, these are two topics you guys have probably heard us bring up uh, several times recently. So considering the situation with COVID-19, um, one of our biggest, um, and not really concerns, but our focus is to continue to provide you guys um, service in an efficient manner. And um, part of that is to make sure that you get paid in a timely manner. So with that being said, um, we wanna make sure and encourage you guys to sign up for direct deposit if you have a lease transaction or there's anything that um, entails, uh, say, Coldwell Banker needing to issue you a check to get paid instead of waiting for snail mail and that check to arrive in the mail, um, you will have that sent directly into your bank account of choice. And so that is why we encourage you to do that. So once you go into your MyCB desk, you're going to look for the direct deposit tile. Once you pull that up, this is what is going to um, come up. If you already are signed up, then you're going to see what I'm looking at right now, which is um, the bank um, of your choice that you've put into uh, your account. If you don't have something signed up already or you haven't input a bank account information, you can do that here. And just be mindful that it can take anywhere from seven to about 10 business days for that to activate because it needs to go through and be approved by your bank of choice. Um, once that is done, everything in the future that would um, have some kind of involvement of Coldwell Banker giving you a check, it will go straight into your bank account. It's very convenient and agents um, get paid much quicker this way. And so that is why we uh, recommend it. And then in regards to ePay, this is what you pay on a monthly basis. Uh, which is either 148 or the 189 a month. Um, this is where this uh, this part of the, your account gets processed in here. So what I encourage you guys to do, because we want to make sure that this also doesn't slip through the cracks and we fall behind on anything. So what I would have you guys do is right here where you see auto pay on, go ahead and click edit auto pay. Uh, you want to make sure that this right here is the green button is turned on and then that you have your payment of method right here, whatever you choose to use, which would be charged on a monthly basis. Um, and then I don't recommend you select this box because you do want to receive emails. That's just my opinion. I, I would want to see what I'm going to get charged before I actually get charged to ensure that there's no mistakes and that everything is fine. So I don't recommend that you select this box so that you will receive emails. And then if everything looks good, everything's set up, you're going to click save and then return home. Another thing that I absolutely love about ePay and the um, option of you as an agent being able to go in here is especially right now, if you're working on getting your uh, taxes filed, whatever the case is, you can pull up an entire statement. You can pull up the history of every single thing that you have either been charged for or credits that you've been given for something. I mean, whatever it is that you need, there is going to be an ongoing record right here within this program and you can print out copies or save PDFs um, like right here it says export to PDF and then send this to your CPA and um, get it applied to your taxes as some kind of a business expense um, so um, and that's about it so if you have any questions as always give us a call we are here for you hope you guys have a wonderful day bye